Hi everybody, Pete Malin Verney here, pleased to join you once again for our Yom Kippur musical meditation. Uh, it's something I look forward to every year as an opportunity to uh, present to you some of the wonderfully talented people we have in our own congregation, and we have no shortage of that again this year. Um, I'll open the proceedings with a number uh, called Deep River, which is an American spiritual, uh, which tells a story of longing for crossing over Jordan to a land of freedom, which of course we know is part of the uh, Jewish origin story, but also is uh, a quite descriptive story of, uh, of the experience of the African American in this country. Um, as you may know, many of the spirituals have coded lyrics uh, where stories from uh, the Jewish Bible were taken and adapted um, of Moses and Pharaoh and all of that. Uh, and Deep River is no, no different uh, as it talks about crossing over Jordan into campground. Um, I, I would note, though, that it's still an apt song for today because uh, I guess we all, each of us feels at some point um, imprisoned or in chains to something. And um, of course, we long for that freedom. Also on a day of remembrance, I think it's important to note that it, this song is still quite current. It's, it's often used at uh, home going or funeral services um, as it celebrates what it is that it awaits on the other side of uh, the Jordan. So here is Deep River, and I hope you enjoy it.
First up, we have uh, our congregant, uh, Jennifer Millman. Uh, she's a speech therapist, and she says she loves attending share, sharing Shabbat services. Today, she's going to play for us uh, at the violin, uh, Eli Eli, which, as we know, is based on a poem by Hannah Senesh, and it was sent to music by David Zahavi. Jennifer says she was inspired by this song when she traveled to Israel in high school and learned about the heroism of Hannah Senesh and other resistance fighters in World War II. Um, Hannah Senesh's story is really quite inspiring and uh, much in the, in the manner of, of heroism uh, in all places and by all peoples, uh, we can find inspiration there. So uh, here's Jennifer Millman. Pianist Rita Friedman is a friend uh, from our um, musical meditation services. She's been good enough to join us several times in the past, and I always look forward to hearing her artistry. Uh, Rita's an author and a clinical psychologist practicing in Harrison, New York. She's a former Temple trustee, and she currently leads the WRJ Lilith Salon. Um, she's going to tell us a little bit about the piece she's chosen, um, but it's one of the most beautiful melodies uh, written, uh, certainly by an American composer and perhaps by any. It's George Gershwin's lovely melody, um, Summertime. Today I'll be playing Summertime from Porgy and Bess by George Gershwin. The familiar first line goes, Summertime and the living is easy. Well, this summer we've learned that it ain't necessarily so, as we have faced disease, disaster, and a plague of racial injustice. Porgy and Bess portrays black life in the segregated South in the 1930s. When George Gershwin offered it to the Metropolitan Opera, he insisted that they use an all-black performers. Well, the Met declared that Quote, there just weren't enough great Negro singers to fill all the roles. So great, Gershwin took his show right to Broadway. And to this day, the Gershwin estate requires that all projections use 
black casts. So here's Summertime, a contemporary arrangement, which I think captures Gershwin's great genius at fusing classical music with jazz, with blues, with gospel, with folk tunes and show tunes, and even a touch of his own Yiddish background.
Next up, we have Stephen Jacobson, who is a wonderful cellist. Uh, he's also the Senior Director of Development at the College of Performing Arts at the New School in New York City. He works in the University Development and Alumni Relations Office. He's going to play uh, one of the real um, one of the real iconic pieces of music, one of the Bach cello suites, solo cello suites, uh, that were made famous first by Pablo Casals. Uh, the story goes he found the music in a shop in Paris, and people hadn't really played the, the uh, cello suites before, certainly not as perform performance pieces. And uh, once he started playing them, then all cellists wanted to play it, and all people who listened to cello music wanted to hear this music. Uh, Stephen is going to give us the Sarah Band from the suite for solo cello, number five in C minor, BWV 1011 by Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> Next up is our congregant, Mark Tartell, 
who I'm lucky enough to claim as a dear friend as well. He plays the euphonium, which is a beautiful instrument, and you'll soon hear uh, just what it is in his hands. He taught music in Briarcliff Manor Public Schools from 1996 to 2020 when he retired. He directed the high school concert and jazz bands, taught instrumental lessons to both middle and high school musicians, and taught digital music. The Briarcliff High School Concert Band, which is a grade 9 through 12 band, recently earned two NISMA gold with distinction ratings. Mark is a career changer. His professional life has spanned three careers. He earned his bachelor's and master's of music at the Juilliard School and performed with the Mexican State Symphony as principal trombonist. After his orchestral career, Mark earned his MBA uh, from Columbia, the Columbia Business School, where he met his wife, Barbara. After Columbia, Mark pursued a career in advertising and marketing. When he transitioned, transitioned into education, Mark planned on becoming a high school band director. He finally became one, but things didn't quite work out with the timing he originally expected. His first job in Briarcliff was teaching over 700 children in elementary general music and chorus at Todd School. In collaboration with colleagues, administrators, and the Briarcliff Manor Education Foundation, Mark commissioned our song by Bob Chilcote and arranged Mozart's Magic Flute and Hans Krasa's Bundebar for young voices at Todd School. After teaching using the Orff and Kodai methods, he learned from colleagues at workshops. He wrote a grant for a Yamaha music and education keyboard lab and curriculum. This is when he realized how engaging and effective music technology could be for his students. In 2014, Mark, in collaboration with his middle school principal, Susan Howard, and fellow teacher Chris Melito, and with the support of a grant from the Briarcliff Manor Education Foundation, introduced a state-of-the-art digital music lab and curriculum that uses technology to teach composition to non-traditional music students. Mark is passionate about teaching technology to enhance musical learning for both his instrumental and non-traditional students. He was an earlier adopter of the Music First Virtual Classroom and Technology in 2014. Mark performs as principal euphonium with the Westchester Symphonic Wind. After raising three children, the Tartels recently resettled in White Plains, New York. When he's not teaching and he's not performing, Mark enjoys working out, especially boxing, with friends, playing with his dog, Rocky, traveling, golf, and exploring new technology. Uh, I will be joining Mark on this performance today of a piece called Song for Ina, written by Philip Spark, the British composer. It was commissioned by Ricky McDonald and given as a present to a dear friend whose wife, Ina, had just passed away. It's not intended to be a sad piece, however, more a work of quiet passion and loving memory of a dear friend. Mark selected this work to honor the memory of loved ones we miss, especially those lost during this pandemic.
So to close uh, this musical meditation, I'm going to give you one more selection. And this is me playing a solo piano a version of one of my favorite, what we call a standard, one of my favorite standards uh, written as an American popular song. In this case, by uh, the music was written by Victor Schertzinger and the lyrics by the great Johnny Mercer. Johnny Mercer seems to turn up uh, as lyricist with innumerable great composers. He had a knack, uh, the knack of the, uh, that sort of specific knack that the uh, Southern um, of our American South, uh, there's a certain um, elegance to his lyrics and also humor. Anyway, and this one is called I Remember You. And whenever I play it, it, it my, uh, my late wife is never too far uh, from my mind. So uh, here's I Remember You, after which we'll continue with our services. And uh, I want to wish you all uh, a sweet and happy new year. And I want you to know that I feel blessed to, to be with you all at WRT. And, and um, I send my thanks to you all as well as to our great clergy team. Thank you. One is called I Remember You. I remember.